Well, I promise you guys I'd give you a weekly update. It's been a little over that. Uh, I started these seeds on the 3rd of April, and it's now the 19th. And I just want to show you the progress. And before I start, I just want to say thanks for all the help with the peppers in the last video. I got a lot of good information from you guys, and I really appreciate that. But I want to show you how these tomatoes are coming along. Now I've just got them under that one shop light in the window and they're getting just a little leggy but I'm keeping that light just over the top of them within three inches of the top of the plant and they're not getting too leggy at all. They're actually starting to get their second set of true leaves. Same with the musk melon that I started from seed. They're getting their second set of true leaves and what's really cool actually let me go in the kitchen and show you this this plant so this here is a hibiscus shrub that we've been growing for years this really isn't my plant uh, but it gets real pretty yellow flowers with bright orange kind of a sunburst center on them and uh, we brought it in last fall and it got flowers but there's no way for the bees to get in here to pollinate it so what I did is I just took one of the old flowers that fell off and I took the pistils and stamen and kind of brushed it in one of the existing flowers and sure enough it made seeds so I saved those seeds and sure enough I decided to go ahead and try and plant them and there they are they're growing now I've got four of those little hibiscus shrubs growing here now the other thing I wanted to show with this is and you know I'm no expert gardener or seed starter but I do know that when you first start these seeds these peat pots are really wet and uh, once the seeds pop up you want to let that surface dry out completely before you add any more water and that prevents them from dampening off and rotting and you can see they're nice and dry now so this is going to be the first time I've watered these since I planted them and it's like I said I started them on the 3rd of April and it's now the 19th of April it's real windy out here guys but I wanted to show you where I get my water filling this thing up and watering my seedlings it's rain water and these things have been sitting around our yard and they've got all these old leaves and stuff in the bottom from the winter so it's kind of a compost tea a really weak compost tea and that's uh really good for those seedlings it gives them a little bit of nutrients but it doesn't burn them up and i'm just going to go through and try not to get it on the plant itself and put just a little bit of water in each of these i don't really want to soak it i just want to give them just a little bit and that'll give them the moisture they need and it'll keep them from rotting now I've got another question for you guys someone mentioned using hydrogen peroxide diluted with water to uh, get rid of any mold and all I'm having is a little bit of white fuzzy mold on the surface of these peat pots I don't know if you can see that this is where my stinging nettle and wild swamp roses are growing but uh what do you think about that is that a problem do i need to worry about that should i use a hydrogen peroxide mix or something to try and get rid of that mold or what let me know what you guys think thanks so that was the tomato update now i'm going to go ahead and give you an update on those peppers that i was so worried about as you can see they're doing pretty good most of the peppers have their first true set of leaves but this first row and these first two here are my California wonder green bell peppers no activity whatsoever these last two pellets and these first two are my lilac bell peppers nothing whatsoever but you can see the little calico peppers 
they're taking off real good my scorpion peppers that I was worried wouldn't come up they're all coming up there's one little tiny one right here <laughs> and uh, both of the two varieties of habaneros are coming up fairly well and then again uh, this big section here is my okra that I saved seeds from last year nothing going on there and there's a lot of that white mold on the surface and then these are my borage they're doing really nice they almost look like little squash plants but that's actually borage and then of course my basil I've went ahead and thinned the basil down to two plants per cup and I went ahead and thinned the peppers down to three per cup but more have sprouted since and I'll just keep going through and thinning out the weaker ones until eventually I'll have just one good plant in each one of these pots and I'll show you something with this uh, little grid paper that I'm using to keep track of where my plants are another nice thing about this is I can write right in here when they sprouted or if I transplanted one from one pot to another I can put on here you know true leaves on peppers barrage and basil 417 that way I know when I got my first true leaves 419 all my peppers are up except the Cali Wonders and the Lilac Bells this way next year when I go to start my garden uh, I can go back to the sheet of paper and I can say oh yeah it did take a while for those peppers to come up and then I can also say eh, you know maybe I don't want to save seeds from those Cali Wonders and Lilac Bells because it's taken them too long to germinate or maybe they won't germinate you never know so I can just keep track of that here and this way when next year rolls around and I've forgotten all this stuff I can just kinda of refresh my memory just by going back to these two sheets of paper get a real quick refresher course and how the season went the year before I always tell myself I'm gonna start a journal for these things but I just never do it's just not that's not my thing I don't like doing a lot of writing when I do stuff I kinda like the bullet points straight to the point and uh, that one piece of paper just makes it easy for me to quickly go back and see what happened without having to read a whole book on a subject I guess I'll go ahead and show you I'm sitting up on the shelf give you an idea how that looks you know that shop light I've just got it uh, held to the ceiling I got two nails in the ceiling and a piece of metal wire for a hanger and I can adjust each side individually up and down all these plants are getting a little taller so I've got this side raised up and of course my peppers are still small so I can bring this side down And what I'll do is I'll just kind of rotate these trays flip them around this way so that side gets more of the sunlight the natural sunlight if it's a warm day I'll crack that window and that'll actually help harden them off a bit too but I just want to give you a shot of that and I went ahead and put these pieces of drying paper on here and they're just held in place by a piece of uh, packing tape and all that does is uh, keep the light held inside there and it also helps keep the warmth in I didn't feel like going out and buying mirrors just for this so I just used a couple pieces of paper white paper will reflect the light and uh, help keep in some of that warmth and I can raise it up and hold it out of the way with that tape when I'm working on them but that's it just wanted to kinda of give you another uh, weekly update on the plants and show you how they're coming along and if you have any tips on preventing that mold or if it is if it is even an issue go ahead and uh, please let me know leave a comment or whatever and uh, just say like I always do, thanks for watching and thanks for all the comments and support.